Hello y'all, welcome back to my channel. If you're a returning subscriber, what's good? If you're new, hey boo, I am back with another video, okay? So happy Friday to you all, okay? Who is excited that it's Friday? I know I am, okay? So hopefully I had a lovely, prosperous weekend, okay? And so, we just gonna hop into this video, okay? Y'all see that title. I feel like I need to make this a head attack because Thanksgiving is right around the corner, okay? And so, do not celebrate Thanksgiving with toxic family members okay and i feel like this is a topic that is very important because i don't know about child but every time the holidays roll around i always feel as though i need to speak about this okay i spoke about this previous times on my channel about toxic family members cutting them off how to recover from toxic family how to do this how to do that and now that it's close to thanksgiving i feel like this is an important video for me to make okay and so you sit up trying to figure out what you gonna wear for Thanksgiving? You trying to see what outfit you gonna wear to try to go stunt and flex on your family? You may wanna think twice after you hit this video, okay? So, I feel like it is important for you to avoid toxic family members on Thanksgiving because usually, if you come from a toxic family, you know that whenever the holiday times roll around, that's kinda of like a stressful time because you're always trying to figure out how you gonna spend your holidays, if you always dread the holidays because you don't want to be around them or you trying to figure out what you're going to do, then nine times out of ten, that is a saying that you need to celebrate the holidays alone. And I think I made a video on my channel too. Or I'm going to make a video about how to celebrate holidays on your own, okay? And I have learned how to do this over the years. Celebrating holidays. I really love holidays, okay? I'm a holiday kind of girl. I be in the holiday spirit, okay? So I don't want nobody ruining my holiday spirit. So the number one way you can stay in the holiday spirit and actually enjoy yourself on the holiday is to avoid toxic family members, okay? Do not let these people kill your vibe, okay? If you're a person that really just value your peace and you just enjoy your time alone, then this video is for you, okay? I feel like, like I said previous times on my channel, that I feel like sometimes it's easier said than done because if your family is somebody that you have spent most of your time with, every holiday you always spending it with them, then this might go over your head now. But if you have been cut off from your toxic family for a while, and you sitting up thinking, because you know Thanksgiving is a couple of weeks away, and you sitting up thinking like, me, you know, what I'm going to do? What you can do is try to stay in high spirits, okay? Because whenever the holidays come around, it's almost as if all those negative feelings and emotions resurface when it comes to thinking about your family because everybody knows that when the holidays come around, people usually spend their holidays with their families. And so if you are a person that comes from a dysfunctional, toxic family, this may be a stressful time of the year for you. This is a stressful time for me is because I have lost so many family members, okay? The holidays have never really been the same since my family has passed away. My grandmother, my aunties. When my grandmother was alive, my grandmother's house was a house to go to every holiday, every Thanksgiving, every Christmas, every Easter, all that. Everybody, all the family would always get together and come to my grandmother's house, okay? They would come across state to come to my grandmother's house to eat. My grandmother was a cook, okay? She was the best cook out of the entire family, and she taught me how to cook, okay? So that's another thing that I have learned how to enjoy during the holidays is if you are stressed and trying to figure out where you want to go, what you want to do, or you, you may not be a person that know how to cook or you don't really cook at all, then you may want to master learning how to cook. I've been in the kitchen cooking since I was about 10 or 11 years old. So your girl know the kitchen like the back of her Hand. but that's another thing that put me in high spirits and good spirits it's just reminiscing all those good memories from when i was younger my grandmother would always just have me in the kitchen helping her cook thanksgiving dinner watching her cook pound cakes sweet potato pies turkey ham cooking the turkey the night before having it sitting in the stove oh well, if y'all know y'all know if y'all come from an old school family full of old school aunties and grandmothers y'all know how that is like y'all literally be up watching y'all grandmother cook the night before don't y'all know that old <laughs> that old metal thermometer did you stick in a turkey? It kind of lets you know when the turkey is done. I used to watch my grandmother do that all the time. And that just resurfaced in my mind. And that just kind of like put me in high spirits. Just thinking about all the good memories that you have ever had over the years when it comes to the holidays. When you come into certain instances to where toxic dysfunctional family, you didn't get to the point to where you really can't get together with them to enjoy yourself because of the toxicity. Then you just think about those good moments. If you're a person that know how to cook just like me, you don't have to go around a whole bunch of family. Okay, you can have Thanksgiving at your home, you know, with your family. If you got children or if you don't. If you got people that you are close and cool with, you got friends, you got a spouse, a boyfriend, a girlfriend, you're, that's your family right there. Positivity, okay? 
positive emotions, okay? That is what's going to help you celebrate the holidays and look forward to the holidays instead of just dreading it. You come from a toxic dysfunctional family, that is something that you have to fight. You have to fight to stay positive during these times because it's going to be all sort of things that is going to try to bring you down, okay? Reminiscing old feelings and memories from certain things. They can put you in a bad man state and they could just make you not even look forward to the holidays. Holidays is something to be celebrated, okay? I am really big on holidays. Holidays is just what keep you going. That's what keep you in good spirits and all that type of stuff. So I'm a person that really loves food. I'm a true foodie. I love to cook. So Thanksgiving is the best holiday out of the entire year for me. So this is something that I really look forward to every year. So get in that kitchen, okay? If you don't know how to cook, learn how to cook. I think I may do some food videos on my channel. I think I said this to y'all. I'm going to get in the kitchen. I'm going to be cooking up some stuff for y'all. Probably going to be around Thanksgiving. I'm going to show y'all my little Thanksgiving tradition, how we do it, okay? We're going to do it old school, okay? Your girl is traditional. Your girl is old school. I ain't going to be going picking up no sweet potato pads from grocery store, okay? Your girl is going to be homemade, okay? So, yeah, that's the number one way that you can enjoy holidays. By yourself, okay? Get yourself in the spirit. Like, this is one time of the year where if you are a person, and I know, I, I think I said this to y'all before, like, I stopped drinking a long time ago. I really haven't had anything to drink since New Year's. I think that's my cat in the background, <laughs> yeah, but I haven't had anything to drink since the New Year's, I believe. I think this is a, the one time around where I'm going to have me some wine, okay? Man, y'all, I'm really just feeling so good about the holidays. Like, yeah, I'm so hyped. Like, I can't wait to get in the kitchen and start cooking. Like, my mother was a good cook as well. I learned a lot of things from my mother. But that's what keeps me in high spirits, just having good memories about my mother, my grandmother. And that just keep me going. I know that they are no longer here. And I, and I try to keep myself in high spirits as much as I can. If you got plenty of loved ones that have passed away and you just don't know, like, if you know, then you know. If you have had several family members that you have lost, then the holidays can be extremely tough. And it's hard for you to get yourself in good spirits around these hands because you are used to spending it with them but you can get yourself in the spirit okay and pray to the lord ask the lord to help you lift your spirits for the holiday so that you can enjoy yourself okay and you can keep the tradition alive okay that is the one thing that you want to keep as a generational thing okay you want to keep high spirits on the holidays okay you want to be the person that break that generational curse of toxicity and dysfunction around the holidays you don't want to be getting together with family members that be talking about you it, it be so much fake energy going around the holidays and i had to learn this over the years too like going around toxic family members just going around them just because I just really just feel lonely and I ain't know what else to do. Like, I'm sitting up here knowing how to cook. Like, I can cook at home. But I'm going around certain family members. Like, this is another thing y'all need to be leery of. And I made a video about this on my channel, too. Avoid these guilt trippers around Thanksgiving, okay? They are probably going to be coming at you, trying to get you to come to a Thanksgiving event with your family. Okay? You know how toxic your family is. You know how much you're going to be able to handle. So if you got this certain person coming around, you trying to get you to come to this family function, our oh, family is all you got it. Uh, once they dead and gone, then you're going to regret that. You know, you're you going to have all type. If you know, then you know. You done had them people guilt trip you into going around toxic family members. You knew that this was going to be a disruption of your peace, so you just went around them just because this family member made you feel guilty. You know what I'm saying? And you ended up regretting it because the minute that you went, it was all type of negative energy. Everybody whispering in each other's ear. They either was talking about you before you showed up. And then they was talking about you when you walked in the room. And then the minute you walked past them, it's all type of fake energy. Oh, hey, hey. What's your name? Jessica, Sam, whatever your name is. Joe, Sarah, Michael, Mary. Okay. They coming up to you with all this fake energy. Oh, hey, how you doing? I haven't seen you all year. Imagine you ain't sent these family members all year into Thanksgiving, right? Then all of a sudden you come around and they acting like they so happy to see you. They acting like they happy to reconnect with you and all of a sudden when really they just talking about you five or ten minutes before you walked into the house, okay? Don't not know it, okay? I know that feeling, okay? That is something that you want to avoid, okay? The enemy is going to try to get you around the holiday times, okay? I'm telling you, when it comes to your family, the enemy is going to try to bait you into some sort of reconnection with your toxic, dysfunctional family, okay? And the main way, that this is my way, okay? This is my opinion, and this is my way. You don't have to take heed to it if you don't want to, but I'm just saying, this is what works for me. This is how I enjoy the holidays and how I feel like you will be able to enjoy the holidays as well if you just avoid it altogether, okay? You are not a bad person, and I have to learn this myself. You are not a bad person for not wanting to go around family on the holidays. Okay, you're going to have people that's going to make you feel bad about not wanting to be around toxic family. When all you are trying to do is have peace. Don't let nobody make you feel guilty for wanting peace. Peace is everything. If you don't have that, you have nothing. Okay? So remember that during these times, okay? 
If I have to make a video every day telling y'all, try to get y'all in the holiday spirit, you come celebrate Thanksgiving with me, okay? You ain't got nobody to celebrate the holidays week. Come celebrate with me, okay? I may make a video on Thanksgiving Day, okay? Just so you can be able to be in good spirits and be able to enjoy the holidays. You do not have to be around toxic family members. I'm telling you, you are going to save yourself the stress of going and being around toxic family members, okay? And if you are younger and you're watching my channel and you feel as though you may not have no other choice but to be around your family because maybe you live with your mother, your father, your grandmother, whatever situation, and you just feel like you can't really avoid them, the number one way I could probably say you could probably avoid this is if you got you a good group of friends or something like that and you have met their family and their family is not dysfunctional, they have a lovely family, they have welcomed you with open arms, it's just like you are a family member to them because you've been friends with this person, don't go celebrate Thanksgiving with no toxic friends, okay? That's another thing too. Avoid toxic friends around Thanksgiving as well, okay? If you got that good group of friends, even if it's just one friend. If you got a good friend, hold on to your good friends, okay? Good friends are hard to find these days. So if you got one, you better stick with it. And that's times out of 10, you got a good friend, they come from a good family, okay? So if this family has welcomed you with open arms, I'm pretty sure they wouldn't mad you come to join them on Thanksgiving. So if you are younger and you know your family is crazy and you don't want to be around there, you just want to be able to enjoy your meal, go celebrate your holiday with your friends. I'm pretty sure your friend, how long y'all been friends, and nine times out of ten, they know how your family is, okay? So they are not going to have any problems extending an invitation for you to come and join them, okay? So yes, those options are open for anybody. You don't even have to be younger. You can be grown. If you got a friend, just anybody, and you have been around, and I have been around several people that come from lovely families. You know, these people have great energy. They have strong family structure. Those are the people that you want to spend your holidays with. If you don't spend it by yourself, go spend it with the people that is going to be radiating positive energy the entire time. And you're going to be able to enjoy your meal. You don't want to sit down at Thanksgiving and enjoy a meal with toxic people, Okay. I don't know about y'all, but I love food. So I don't want nobody disrupting my meal with negativity, okay? So this is another reason why I like to enjoy holidays on my own because I want to be able to enjoy my meal with no problems, okay? So yes, that's what I wanted to bring out this Friday, okay? I am in good spirits and hopefully y'all can pass that energy right along to y'all and hopefully y'all have a lovely holidays. We are not tolerating toxicity around the holidays, not on Thanksgiving, not on the one day that counts, okay? We are almost close to the end of the year and you want to end it off on a positive note, okay? So yes, that is what I wanted to bring out. No negativity. You know you've been around certain family members around the holidays and you really just regret it even coming. If you ever got a question, whether you want to attend a certain event, that is a strong saying right there that you probably need to spend the holidays alone, okay? You should not be second guessing going to be around your family, okay? There's something wrong with that picture, okay? So listen to what your man is telling you. The Lord is going to give you a spiritual warning that lets you know that you probably need to be alone for the holidays or you need to be within company of some good people, okay? So yeah, that's extremely important. I feel like I needed to make this today because Thanksgiving is right around the corner, okay? And so you don't want to end off your year we negativity, okay? The enemy is going to try to send all types of toxicity to you. Depending on how long you have been cut off from your family, the enemy is going to send certain people into your path to try to get you to reconnect with these people. I'm telling you, don't do it. Don't do it. It's going to be the worst mistake you've ever made if you do that. Okay, you are going to be regretting it. I'm telling you, I'm coming from experience, I know. You are going to be regretting the fact that you went and spent the holidays with toxic family. You're going to be mad at yourself. You're going to be sitting up saying, man, something told me I should have stayed home. Like, I should have just stayed home. Like, I literally just made a five, six course meal and I still decided to go be around these toxic family members because I could have just enjoyed my meal at home. If you didn't do it, you let somebody bait you into coming. You let somebody guilt trip you into going because you was going to feel like the bad guy if you didn't show up. You feel like they don't talk about you either way. Whether you come or not, they still going to talk about you. So what difference do it make for you to show up? Okay? Don't eat steaks with snakes. Okay? That's goes into the holidays do not eat steaks with snakes okay do not sit down and have a meal with people who don't care about you have a meal with people that run your name through the mud okay people that come and bring fake energy they praying over the food ain't no type of prayer or love or god in their heart when they just was gossiping about you 15 minutes ago now they praying over the meal saying oh that's strength in this family that's been able to enjoy this meal don't even do it don't even do it and I know how tough it is. I'm telling you, I know. If you come from a family where you was basically forced to be around your family, you ain't had no other choice but to be around them. It's kind of programmed and conditioned in your mind that you need to be around them. But you don't have to be around them, okay? Break this generational curse of celebrating holidays with toxic family members, okay? You are the generational curse breaker. 
when you decide to enjoy the holidays on your own. You do not have to be around them. I'm coming to you. I'm telling you. I know. You do not have to celebrate the holidays with toxic family members. It don't matter what type of family you came from. I don't care what grandma said, what your auntie said, what your cousin said. They out. Oh. Mm. <laughs> you are going to regret it. I'm telling you. You are going to wish that you listened to your first man. Okay. So that is something that I wanted to bring y'all this Friday, okay? I got another video after this. I'm going to be uploading a couple of videos today because I don't need good spirits. And it is the weekend, baby. Okay, so we're going to get into it. But yes, I'm probably going to be making videos this week about how to prep yourself for the holidays, how to celebrate holidays without loved ones, okay? We're talking about death. That is going to be upcoming videos on my channel, how to cope with the loss of a loved one because we are around holidays after Thanksgiving. Next thing you know, it's going to be Christmas. Then it's going to be New Year's. And then you're going to be constantly thinking about your loved ones that has passed away. My channel is here to help you get through that, okay? So, yes, okay? Hopefully, y'all enjoyed this video. Hopefully, it helped you in some way. And hopefully, y'all are ready for Thanksgiving, okay? Y'all ready to eat up some food? Y'all ready to eat some food? I know I am. I'm ready to eat some sweet potato pads. I'm ready to eat some cake. I'm ready to eat everything under the sun on the holidays, okay? And hopefully, y'all be able to enjoy y'all holidays this year, okay? Continue to protect y'all soul and spirit, and I will talk to y'all in the next video.